Hey, it's Krins. Uh, today I wanted to show a uh, mage farm for two pre-raid bis items. We are in uh, Blackrock Depths and uh, I'm gonna just talk over some footage I have. Uh, it's sped up to uh, twice the speed, but I hope that's okay with you guys. Also, um, my recording software didn't quite capture my entire screen, so it might look a little bit weird at times. But I think you can see what's going on. So you just take this... Uh, you do need the Shadowforge key to open these uh, three doors, and then you just go towards General Angerforge, that general direction. Uh, these fire guards, you don't actually have to kill them, you can wait for the, this patrol to pass. The other uh, one I killed at the start, you can just easily go around. I do like to kill them just in case they drop elemental fire. So that's why I'm killing them. When we get here, just you want to pop all your shields and uh, you're just going to run through this general area. If that patrol I skull marked had been closer, I probably just would have killed that one too, but since it's so deep, I skip it. Uh, you can just blink past those, but it doesn't matter if you pull them. And then jump out that window and wait for the mobs to reset. Very uh, straightforward run in. It's quite safe. I was a bit worried the first time I did it, but with your shields up, you don't even take any damage whatsoever. Alright, now we've uh, re rejuvenated our mana, and we just go through uh, these, uh, these elementals here. The last two elementals you need to kill. You can get through them with a blink, but you need the space to kite, so uh, I pop my... Uh, I equip my uh, Bear of Peasant Caller uh, here. I'm not sure if this is the one where I forget to use it anyways. But these two elementals can be a little bit dangerous, but you you should be fine. Just pop your uh, your Ice Barrier and your uh, Fire Shield and, and go to town. Once one is down, the damage drops so much that you're, you're pretty much safe, in, even if you're low health. So, just killing these guys, wham bam. So, the the boss in the background, Lord Incendius, is the first guy we're gonna kill. Now he uh, can drop the pre-raid bis bracers, and they're actually better than the molten core bracers. So they're really, really good, if you're lucky enough to get them. The drop rate is really low. So, if I understand the, uh, the loot table correctly on this guy, he has an 11% chance to drop blue bracers, the blue cloth bracers. But then you need the right affix and you want the ones with plus 21 frost damage. And it says 4%, but I don't know if that's 4% total or 4% of those 11%. So best case scenario, you have about 4% drop rate on the item you're after. Worst case scenario, around 0.4%. So, either way, it's a low drop rate, but the fact that you can solo it makes it easier. So, you just want to kite him around in circles here. You don't want to let him hit you. Uh, I'm kiting maybe a bit too much here, because the spellcasts aren't that dangerous when you have your shields up. Uh, this run, I don't use a health or mana potion, but I have them with me in case I will end up needing them. This guy isn't the toughest, but for whatever reason I can struggle. He has a knockback, but if you just uh, stay close to the wall, it's usually not an issue in itself. It won't knock you into the lava if you position yourself correctly. However, it can knock you up into those little nooks you see along the wall. And what happened to me a couple of times is when I jumped down from the nook, I actually jump a little bit too far and end up in the lava below and, uh, and just have to reset. So that kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, just kite him. Frostbolt, Frostbolt is immune to fire. I assume. I actually never did try a fire spell, but just keep your uh, Frostbolts coming and uh, keep kiting. And uh, you drop, didn't drop the blue braces there. So that's the first boss. You're gonna want to farm him a lot, and he's easy to get to. The second boss is a lot harder to get to. It's uh, Warder Stilgis. I'm gonna kill these two elementals here. You can blink past them, but kind of feel safer pulling them and killing them rather than accidentally pulling them or whatever. So, <clears throat> here we go. And these are the same counts you have before, so just Frost Magic. I like the counter spell and Frost Nova a little bit away. There we go, one's down. They are linked, so if you pull one you will get the other one as well. 
you're gonna need to do some preparation before you come into uh, Blackrock Depths for the second boss. You're gonna need a lesser invisibility potion and invisibility potion. So when this guy comes down here, you wanna wait for that. You pop your lesser invisibility potion and just run up along the ledge here. Sometimes you have to wait a while for him to be in the right position. You blink past that last one so you don't accidentally pull it. And uh, now we wait for a fire elemental patrol. It's safe here, the uh, patrolling um, golem won't go all the way up. So that went a bit quick, but you can uh, rewind and watch that bit again, just to see how you're running there. The important thing is to use a lesser invisibility potion there. The Gnomish cloaking device might work, but those extra couple of seconds I think are needed from the potion. So. Uh, and next we're gonna use a regular invisibility potion, not the lesser kind. And we're uh, almost there. Uh, without invisibility potions, this getting to the second boss is gonna be really tough. So here's, here we're gonna take the, uh, the regular in invisibility potion as we go into the boss. He's in the same room with uh, as the coffer, so if you have coffer keys, you want to loot the, in here, the, you can do that as well. Uh, I don't have any on this character, so I just come here for the boss. Once you're here, what you want to do if, is pop a greater frost protection potion. It's not 100% necessary, but since you use consumables and time just to get here, it's better that you have it, just to make sure you, you actually win this fight. So here I pop a greater frost protection potion and then wait for the timer to come back up so I can use a second greater frost protection potion in the fight. So with those, the actual water st stilgus is very easy, but the dog is very dangerous. It does a lot of damage, so you want to keep it frost nova as much as possible. Uh, as you will see once we start fighting here. What this guy drops is the pre-raid best in slot shoulders. Not counting the PvP shoulders. Unla unlike the previous boss, Lord Incendius, the drop chance of the shoulders is actually 35%, so that's really good. So I did this three times to get the shoulders. This is my second attempt right here. My first attempt went better, but I didn't record it. In my third attempt, I got the shoulders, so I won't be coming back. This is the only attempt I actually end up dying to the dog, which is a bit annoying, but it's the only one I recorded, so we'll go with this one anyways. The other two attempts I did kill the dog, so I didn't have to die, but the dog doesn't actually drop anything of value or of note, as far as I know, so there's no problem. If you die, just make sure you loot Warder Stilgis before you die. But you can kill the dog, you just have to kite him around and use consumables and that sort of thing. It's a bit of a annoying fight all right so the dog marked we're killing skull and uh frost shield up ice barrier up and uh i got my trinkets on and frost bolt frost bolt there you see the nova on the dog and then frost bolt frost bolt and now i'm gonna ice block to wait for a second frost nova and then as soon as the ice block is over i'm gonna cold snap so now i have another frost nova when needed there we go that's another frost nova you see he goes down quite quickly quickly water still gets. so he's down uh, now i'm out of frost novas just gotta kite the dog and uh, there's the, another one i'm looting all right that's it for this time uh, i hope you found it useful and good luck getting those pre-raid bits